If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. Well, I don't mention, I didn't mention names, and uh, I didn't do that. But I will tell you, with our country, and I think everybody in this audience, these are great manufacturers, great workers in our audience, too. They brought a lot of their workers here. Uh, if you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. And that's what I say all the time. That's what I said in a tweet, which I guess some people think is controversial. A lot of people love it, by the way. A lot of people love it. But if you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. Well, that's just a very racist statement, somebody that would say that. So, Speaker Pelosi said, make America white again. Let me tell you, that's a very racist — that's a very racist statement. I'm surprised she'd say that. John, go ahead. Well, they're very unhappy. I'm watching them. All they do is complain. So all I'm saying is, if they want to leave, they can leave, John. They can leave. I mean, I look at the one — I look at Omar. I don't know. I never met her. I hear the way she talks about Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda has killed many Americans. She said, you can hold your chest out. You can — when I think of America, huh? Oh, when I think of Al-Qaeda, I can hold my chest out. When she talked about the World Trade Center being knocked down, some people — you remember the famous some people? Uh, these are people that, in my opinion, hate our country. Now, you can say what you want, but get a list of all of the statements they've made. And all I'm saying that if they're not happy here, they can leave. They can leave. And you know what? I'm, I'm sure that there'll be many people that won't miss them. But they have to love — they have to love our country. They're Congress people. And I never used any names. But these are people — quiet, 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 quiet. Quiet. These are people that, if they don't like it here, they can leave. And I'd be — I I don't know who's going to miss them, but I guess some people will. One of them is polling — one of them is polling at 8 — one of them is polling at 8 percent. One of them is polling at 8 percent. So when — when I hear people speaking about how wonderful Al-Qaeda is, when I hear people talking about some people, some people with the World Trade Center, some people — no, not some people, much more than some people. When I hear the statements that they've made — and in one case, you have somebody that comes from Somalia, which is a failed government, a failed state, who left Somalia, who ultimately came here, and now is a congresswoman who's never happy, says horrible things about Israel, hates Israel, hates Jews, hates Jews. It's very simple. And if the Democrats want to wrap their bows around this group of four people — one of them kept Amazon out of New York — tens of thousands of jobs would have been a great thing. And she kept Amazon from going. Would have been a good deal. I mean, could he have made better? Maybe. But tens of thousands of jobs. And New York has not been the same since that happened. It's really hurt New York and New York City. Amazon was going to go. They were going to relocate a major section of their business in New York. She kept them out. That was a terrible thing she did. A terrible te thing she did. So here's the story. Here's the story. I see them complaining. They're complaining constantly. I watched Lindsey Graham today on Fox and Friends talking about uh, the same subject and, frankly, uh, even stronger than what I'm saying. He said they're communists. I'm saying — I'm saying that they're socialists, definitely. As to whether or not they're communists, I would think they might be. But this isn't what our country is about. Nevertheless, they're free to leave if they want. And if they want to leave, that's fine. And if they want to stay, that's fine. But the people have to know. And politicians can't be afraid to take them on. 
a politician that hears somebody where we're at war with Al Qaeda and see somebody talking about how great Al Qaeda is. Pick out her statement. That was Omar. How great Al Qaeda is. When you hear that, and we're losing great soldiers to Al Qaeda, when you see the World Trade Center gets knocked down, and you see the statements made about the World Trade Center, all the death and destruction, I'll tell you what, I'm not happy with them. And it's very easy to be saying, oh, gee, well, it's okay. If, the, if weak politicians want to say, and the Democrats in this case, if they want to gear their wagons around these four people, I think they're going to have a very tough election, because I don't think the people of the United States will stand for it.